Hi everyone, welcome back to another video and another Viva Las Vegas Stamps Design Team Project. For the month of August, we've all been working with these journals by Claire Font. I hope I'm saying this right. And if you check out our blog, which is at vivalas.blogspot.com, I'll put the link down below. And as always, and um, comment on all the journal pages featuring these, this journal. You're entered to win a one of these journals and a $15 uh, coupon for the Viva Las Vegas Stamps online store. So this journal is about 11 and a half inches long and about eight and a quarter inch wide. It's spiral bound. It does have a band. And you get 30 pages, I think, in this book. In this journal, yeah, 30 sheets, and it's a drawing paper at 83 pounds. And when I got and it, the cover is plastic, clear. So I left, that's why I left this page blank for now. And when I got this journal, I also got the Distress Ink, the Summer Distress Inks. So to order, I wanted to play with them, so I just took one of each. Each of the colors, and I took a page and just swiped the color across the page, and then taking a brush with water on in it on it <laughs> with water on it, and then I um, brushed it on here to make it look you know like a watercolor since it is water based, and you can do that with these. This page I used the pink the picked raspberries, not pink picked. <laughs> um, this is one, I did three pages, like a, two of the three pages here I've completed. Um, I took, I think some, you know, Lindy Stamping and Screaming Batching Black and Hottie Patati Hot Pink and just did some drips on there. I'm hoping the color is it looks, doesn't look very vibrant, but it is. You can go when you go to the blog. You can see go to my post. Hopefully the pictures will come out or be more vivid. It will be more vivid on the blog. I don't know why it's not. Um, and then I took some of the punchinella that I got in the Gosh Alchemy um, kit when we were teamed up with them. And the big. Um, Punchinella, the teeny tiny uh, circles, and the hearts. And I used black and white and uh, magenta. And then I, she is also from the kit. And I used, I cut her out. She's from the Sears catalog. And I cut her out and I colored her up a little bit and glued her on. And then I took some piece of the chrome coat. And I braired, braired some of the picked raspberries and I spritzed it with water, give it a little texture. I don't know if you can see it really well, but this is one of the um, sentiments from Viva Las Vegas stamps. And it says, I read recipes the way, the same way I read science fiction. I get to the end and think, well, that's not going to happen. And I stamped it with black memento and I cut the, all the words out and glued them down and I outlined it in black marker. So that's this page. And this page is not complete but I did again I did the same thing with the with the color and this napkin was from the uh, Gauche Alchemy um, kit and it blends really well with this green. <laughs> and she, they're also from the Sears catalog. And this was the first page I did when I got completed. Because I this was the last color, which is the salty salted salty ocean. That's the last color I did that with the color and the water. So this was the one I started first. Um, and then so while it was still wet, I took some rock salt because I still had that 
out when I was doing um, that rock salt te background technique for my blog post oh, a couple weeks back. And I sprinkled it on, let it dry a little bit, and then wiped the uh, salt off. And then I took the water droplet background, see, and I stamped that with the same blue. And I stamped it a little too much to my liking, so I just took a took a brush with water on it and brush brushed it out. Add a little more salt. So I did the whole thing over again, put more salt on there, let it dry, as you can see, you can see the salt right here. And then again I re-stamped the, um, the water droplets. Then I stamped on a separate piece of paper the kayakers. And then the two boat girls um, with memento, black memento. And I did um, take a water brush and paint the um, um, with the uh, distress, distress pads. And I cut them out and glue them on the page. And then I looked for a quote online. And I found this one. A vacation is having nothing to do and all day to do it in. And it's by Robert Or Orban. And I used three different fonts. And I just mixed and matched. Matched them. Cut them out, cut the words out, and glued them on the page. And out, again, outlined them with black marker. And um, when I was doing the pink page... I had a little bit of that white left on the craft mat, so I just took um, took it and took the little um, circles, punchinella, and went over that on this page. And that's that. I really like how it turned out. So be sure to check out Viva Las Vegas stamps and leave a comment on my not only my blog post but everybody else's for a chance to win one of these. And um, all the links and information with the stamps I used and all that. And the, um, the link for Clarifont be in the description below. And I, I, before I go, I just want to point out that there's like, it didn't really buckle too, the paper didn't really buckle too much. When I, you know, added water and all that. For drying paper. So, so that's it for now, and thanks for watching.